And the only good thing about this is George Bush's numbers are the lowest of any president since Nixon. But I want you to think Cheney's numbers are like 17%. When you are at 17%, your wife's not for you. Your kids aren't for you. Your grandkids aren't for you. But we once again are witnessing the politics of destruction. I want you to think with me for a minute. Uh, clearly, uh, the governor of Alaska has brought a lot of excitement to this uh, campaign uh, for uh, John McCain. But I want to just respond for a moment about this comment about community organizers. And she criticized Barack Obama for being a community organizer. I doubt she knows what that is. Uh, those of us who are wealthy and have tried to help people living in poverty, uh, walk some picket lines now and then, or maybe all of our lives, uh, fought for victims of black lung, for health and safety, try to be our brother's keeper, lift people up in our society as opposed to this saying, well, I'm a governor. But let me just say that I'm a community organizer and I'm proud of it. Now, just so she understands we're in some good company, all of you are community organizers. Gandhi was a community organizer. Uh, John L. Lewis was a community organizer. Martin Luther King was a community organizer. Moses was a community organizer. And yes, Jesus was a community organizer.
create millions of jobs. What well, he has. He just happened to create them in China. I don't even here. If you want a president who will fight for the American workers for a change, you cannot be for a free trader like John McCain. He's in lockstep with George Bush. He's never met a trade deal. He did life in North Carolina that ought to become home to you. You've got to be for a candidate for president of the United States who stands up for the American workers as opposed to the Chinese workers. Choice 